Hey, happy anniversary. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin I'm doing? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Monday up in this motherfucker, and your girl's tired as fuck, okay? <laughs> I got zero sleep yesterday. I was up till three in the morning editing my Real Housewives of Atlanta recap, so if you have not checked out that recap yet, for the new season of Real Housewives of Atlanta, y'all better get on that shit. I will link it down below if I remember. If not, check out the other channel, which is The Socialite Life, okay? It's always linked down in the description box. But uh, anyway, about to have my Body by Vice shake. I did not show you guys what I put in it, but this is actually something that I've made before. This is actually going to be, it is banana, okay? Bam, here, let me show it to you real quick. Banana, there it is right there. Banana, it is cinnamon, it is a little bit of um, vanilla extract. It is, and it's half a banana, and it's of course a cup of almond milk. And a little bit of water, some ice or whatever, because my banana's not frozen. And that is what I'm having for breakfast today, all right? And uh, anyway, these last couple of vlogs, I haven't had the chance to show you guys any of the Body by Vice shakes that I've been drinking and stuff because I've been starting my vlogs kind of early, not early, what am I talking about? Later in the afternoon or evening when I'm already out and about after I've already had them. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys that I am still on it. And for those of you guys who don't know, I actually got my Body by Vice shakes on Amazon. I will leave the link at the top of the description box so y'all can check it out if you guys want to get your hands on the Body by Vice shakes for cheap cheaper than if you were to go through a distributor or whatever and then you're not really obligated although I've heard that if you go through a distributor or whatever you don't you can figure out a way to not be obligated to pay it every single month but it's still cheaper on Amazon regardless or whatever okay so um, if you guys are not familiar with the body by Vice shake mix I am on the shape kit okay which is for those of you know, of us who just want to, you know, stay in shape, lose just a little bit of weight. There's also a transformation kit, which is for those of us that want to drop more significant weight. And so I have the link for that down below as well if you guys are wanting to get that. But this is it right here. Bam. This is what the box or what the baggie of it looks like. Bam. Okay. And as you guys have seen through my previous vlogs, I love the shit. It is an awesome base for anything. And you know, Juice has been drinking them as protein shakes. So if you got a hubby or a boo-boo at home, or if you're just looking to have something, to re you know, as a meal replacement or for a protein shake, these are fire. Okay. So y'all know I always have a straw with my shake. Having that this morning, I have the news on right now because if you guys may or may not know, and by the time you guys see this video, it might have been out by then. So we'll keep you guys updated. Um, since our vlogs are finally on time. When I say finally on time, I mean I'm on two days behind now, which is my usual. So we are finally caught up on the vlog. So happy. Thank you for being patient with us on it. But anyway, um, I am sitting here watching the news. Um, sorry, watching the news. Why? Because um, the Mike Brown verdict, verdict um, is supposed to be coming out um, anytime soon. I'm not sure if they're talking about it. They're talking about it, but I don't think that they've announced it yet they have been kind of trickling out different dates and times and whatever that the verdict is going to come out and personally I think that they're going to intentionally not let us know exactly what day and time that the verdict is going to come out just simply because they're afraid of what is going to happen I think everyone's kind of preparing for the worst obviously people don't want the same type of violence that was happening before so um I believe that the news outlets even know, but I don't think that they're allowed to really necessarily say exactly when it's going to be um, released because they don't want to have the same issue. They don't want to give people time to kind of plan out what their retaliation is going to be in case um, he gets off. 99.9% .9 of the people out here in St. Louis think he's going to get off, okay? And the way that they've kind of positioned everything, it sounds as though um, the, the officer will get off, but we don't know at this very moment. I don't know that yet. Um, that being said, so we're kind of bracing ourselves, you know, we've been praying on it and stuff. So pray for St. Louis, pray that, you know, justice is served and that nothing crazy happens. But 
the National Guard supposedly here. Uh, there's a lot of um, schools that have uh, gotten kind of prepared and have emergency uh, plans and set, set in, in place. Businesses in Ferguson have already started boarding up this week and stuff, so they were starting to do that last week. Nurses and hospitals on high, are, on, are on high alert. Like, this is fact, actual factuals, you know what I mean? Those are, These are the actual factuals that I'm telling you guys right now. So I'm just kind of waiting to see if it comes out today. Supposedly it was supposed to come out Sunday. Then it was supposed to come out today, which is Monday. Monday. Then they were talking about it may come out tomorrow. They were also talking about it coming out last Friday. So I think they're intentionally fucking with us a little bit with that so that we don't exactly know when. So when they bring it out, it's just going to come out, if that makes sense, just to avoid people being able to kind of have time to plan to retaliate if, in fact, he does get off. It's just a scary situation. So we're just praying. We're just praying. We're just praying. So yeah. Okay. Anyway. So I've got the news on and I'm editing right now. I'm importing and I'm editing. I've got a whole bunch of fun videos coming out on uh, the other channel. Of course, our daily vlogs here. Thank you for riding with us all this time. I'm going to go ahead and have my little shake. <laughs> ah, delicious. Y'all, I love the shake. It's easy and I'm a little sore from um, my workout a couple days ago. So I wanted to put, make sure I put banana in there because bananas, if you guys don't know, are really good for... Um, you know, making just making you feel better, the potassium and the banana. After you've had a workout and you're a little sore, um, bananas really do help with that. So I, that's why I put a banana, half a banana in my shake. And this is actually one of my favorite shakes. It's like a nice vanilla banana flavor. It's just easy breezy. It's super easy and I don't have to put anything else in it besides the banana, my almond milk and all that shit, you know, flaxseed and all that stuff or whatever too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this importing and stuff and watch this news because they're talking about stuff right now. So I'll let you guys know if anything comes up. Okay, y'all. So... I have to tell y'all something real quick. So y'all know I'm on this whole couponing kick. I'm actually about to sit down and clip my coupons from yesterday's newspaper. And um, just had a little nibble of some chicken. But anyway, um, I wanted to tell you guys know I love me some Buffalo Wild Wings, right? And I, I know y'all have been hooking me up and letting me know of all kind of deals and promotional options and things and apps and stuff that are great for couponing. Thank you so much for all of that because honestly, I have been using these apps you guys have been recommending. Um, someone recommended the Target app, which I uploaded it uh, yesterday onto my phone. And I'm already seeing like what the hype is about about that too. So I'm ecstatic to be using all that stuff. Plus you can use that in addition to the coupons you already have in your possession. So it's awesome. Anyway, if you haven't downloaded the Target app, it's like... Not the same thing as Walmart Savings Catcher, but it's like essentially, you know, you can get some savings. It has coupons in it, in the app, that you can use and just show the barcode or show your phone and get the discount right at the cash register when you go check out. So download it if you haven't. But I want to let you guys know that there's this promotion going on with Buffalo Wild Wings. And I have been following some people on Instagram that do a lot of couponing just to get inspiration and also because they find deals and things and when they find deals they actually pass it on and post it on Instagram. So one in particular had a special that was going on with Buffalo Wild Wings and y'all know we always go to Buffalo Wild Wings and as soon as I heard about the promotion I was like oh hells yes Sandy's going to partake right. So basically what it boils down to it is the BWW Blazing, hold on let me tell you exactly what it is before I lie, let me lie lie because I want to tell y'all so y'all can look it up and find out how to do it um, yourself. Hold on. It is called the BWW Blazing Bonus Game. Okay? Go Google it, all right? Now, it's not something that they seem to publicize. The only reason why I know about it is because I was following someone on Instagram and they mentioned it and it was perfect it's perfect for me and juice because um juice and i proper english sandy um perfect for the both of us because we go there so much basically what it boils down to is you send like some self-addressed stamp envelopes to the address that they have on the um the website so just look it up or whatever um if i remember to pull it up my computer's importing that's why i can't look it up right this minute because it's my computer's really slow so it won't pull up right away because it's importing but if i remember to do it later on i will but google it and you will find it on the uh, buffalo wild wings website basically what it boils down to you're going to send self-addressed stamp envelopes in the in, in the self-addressed stamp envelope not in the self-addressed stamp envelope but in the envelope that you're going to put the self-addressed stamped envelope in you're going to just put your name your age your phone number and your address your home address daytime phone number and um put that on a little slip of paper it has to be handwritten by the way you're going to put that inside the envelope that you also put your self-addressed stamp envelope into 
and you're going to send it to the address that they give you. There's a couple of states that it's not valid in. I don't remember the states off the top of my head. However, um, when you send it in, they will send you a coupon, okay? And I guess the coupons can be um, a $5 coupon, a $10 coupon. It can be a myriad of different coupons. So they'll just send you a coupon for every single self-addressed stamp envelope you send. I think it's four per household is the max. So Juice is actually mailing them out as we speak from his office like dude like i'm ecstatic so anyway um i wanted to pass it along to you guys so if you guys are not already familiar if any of you guys have participated in it comment down below let me know if you guys have i just happened to find it but the cool thing is um uh these coupons can be used after i think january 1st sometime in january is when you're allowed to use those coupons so you may get five dollars off your order or ten dollars off your order or whatever the percentage is but either way it's you know, Buffalo Wild Wings really doesn't do a lot of promos from what I've been able to see. Um, I mean, their happy hour is barely even a happy hour because, you know what I mean? So, anyway, check it out. Um, yeah, I just wanted to pass it along to you since you guys have been passing along stuff to me. And as I see things, I'll let you guys know too. But, um, anyway, Juice is sending ours out. I think it's four per person is the max. So, I think I'm allowed to also send some for myself. So, um, he's mixing it up. He's sending a couple for me and a couple for him. And then the next time we're going to send a couple for me and a couple for him. And that'll be our max of four per person. It's either four per household or four per person, but we're going to max it out until they stop sending us this shit. It goes until the end of December. Um, I think just uh, December 31st is the last time you can mail it in. And then those coupons or whatever are valid. I think it's January 1st after, you know, after January 1st sometime or whatever. Either way, we go there so often it just made sense and so I wanted to pass it along to you. So anyway, let me know if you guys don't find it and um, if I remember I'll, I'll let you guys know all that stuff but um, yeah, I just thought I'd pass it along since you guys have been giving me all these little tips so yeah. What up y'all? It's your boy. I'm gonna make a quick run to the store today and grab a few items. <clears throat> you know, the wife has been a little bit tired. She stayed up till about 3 in the morning last night shooting her little recap. So make sure y'all check it out in case y'all haven't about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So she's a little tired. I'm up here getting a few items, a few key essentials. And uh, there's one important thing that I really forgot to grab yesterday because I was uh, kind of out of it myself. But um, I'm about to show y'all here in a minute. Okay, so check it out. I'm thinking about getting one of these little bears for the dogs just so they can have something to play with. If y'all remember, y'all know how Chewy had a little play toy. He used to hump on himself, but this is what I had in mind. Think these be? These, do you think these are too big for the dogs? Look at that. Think both of them can handle that? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to bring one of these home and see what they do with it. Okay. Uh, $29.99. Uh, let me rethink that. Uh, I'll be back. All right, so here's what I really came to grab today. Uh, yesterday was uh, considered our love anniversary, so I want to make sure we came and uh, grab one of these bad boys. Ugh, hopefully, that hopefully this will work out. But uh, November 9th is considered our love anniversary, so I want to make sure that I pay homage to the wifey. And I'll explain that and get into all that later on how we uh, came to the conclusion that this is our love anniversary. But uh, let me do this first and then um, we'll get into that. Hey, happy anniversary. this out yesterday how did our, you remember yesterday was our uh, love anniversary how did you know oh i know i know everything so no, yeah. juice. <laughs> i look like you can see my dibbles I, seriously yeah how did you know i just say hey, i remember i remember i, I remember, remember this kind of but stuff, i didn't yeah. think you remembered so i didn't say anything oh, no, I, rem I remember this kind of stuff so yeah good to oh, go my Trying to make savings and I didn't even know, my love. Thank you, my love. 
I really cannot believe that he remembered. <laughs> remembered. Like, I remembered our anniversary. It's like a cheesy anniversary that we used to celebrate years ago. And um, I did not think he remembered. Either he has it in his phone. Either way, like, the fact that he even brought it up. And this, I, I, I knew it was yesterday. I didn't say anything because I just... You know, we have our standard anniversary. I didn't I didn't think that you See? you knew. I didn't think you'd remember. See y'all, she didn't think I'd remember that stuff, you know. See what I'm saying? I mean, but that was so I mean, I'm so I'm hey, shocked. She didn't think I didn't remember at all, trust me. I didn't. I, yeah. I and I and I didn't say anything nothing because of anything bad. I wasn't like upset or anything that he didn't, I just didn't assume, you know, because you know, I mean, you know, we have Valentine's Day, then we have our wedding anniversary. But this is another type of anniversary and Yeah. I cannot believe you. I cannot. Believe, I cannot. I'm like sitting here, like floored that you remembered. It. I'm, oh shit! I forgot this. Damn. I had a feeling you were gonna forget that when you walked Damn. out. I was like, you're gonna forget that. I ain't going back. I ain't, I ain't going, going back. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh Aww. my god! I'm so excited. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, do something with my his food and stuff. But I had to give him some some kisses. <laughs> y'all ye of little faith y'all ye of little faith i didn't know i mean i literally i knew yeah it was yesterday i knew it and didn't say anything because i didn't yeah, want to be like yeah, you know anyone yeah, bother him you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah no plus yesterday i was out of he it he was feeling yeah, yeah he was, was feeling sick it. too i was like let me just get him some well, medicine yesterday. make him feel better I, that's all i was you know what i'm saying but oh, i can't Mm. Thank you, my love. I'm all smiling. Not no Valentine's Day for you. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. I'm just you better, you better, you better. You got dinner, you got dinner ready yet? Yeah. It's in the oven. It's cool. I'm good. Yeah, what kind of veggie do you want with it, though? Whatever's We have some food now. Mm. Mm. Do you want, I don't know, do you want green beans? <sighs> what are you in the mood for? Don't matter. Okay, let's see. I got some rice in there from uh, uh, Chipotle. Are oh, you still in here? Yeah, yeah, fix that white rice. I'll heat it up, something. Okay. That's all we gotta do. You don't want veggies? No, uh, you throw a little bit of green beans in there, you know, but I okay. need some white rice. Okay. Yeah, buddy. I'll make a little. Something, something. Oh. All right, disregard what I look like. It's whatever. We having some leftover jasmine rice, of which, you know, some of which is in the microwave right now. We have our rotisserie, because y'all know how it goes, bam. And we have green beans, baby. That's what we're having for Din Din. And, uh, I, know they, I know they're getting tired of seeing us eating rotisserie. <laughs> I know. They're going to probably have a rotisserie strike on this channel. But no, a lot of you guys have been trying out the rotisserie, though. Like, they've been going to Costco you know I mean, and you know I mean, Sam's. They're sick of seeing us eating it. <laughs> and that's true, that's true. They're going to be on strike against us eating rotisserie. But I asked him earlier be before he left. Band I did ask before he left. I'm like, oh yeah, what do you want to, you know? Oh, no, I'm good. You know, have or whatever. And I said, you know, we don't have to have rotisserie and do something else. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, obviously I cook. You know what I mean? But when we have rotisserie, it's like it almost trumps everything. So y'all yeah. know how it goes. Got steak. Right, and that would trump that for sure. Um, or not. Anyway. Oh. I need a knife. Let's see. See if I have a knife in here. Yeah, nice. Uh, I guess they're all in. Anyway, go ahead and cut this up and serve my baby.